Hello everybody. Um, the question's been asked, how do you take songs from uh, MP3 format or from downloading them from carasongs.com and record your vocals on them? So I'm going to do a quick tutorial on that. This is basically how to take any MP3 um, and then record your vocals. Uh, whether you're using PC or Mac, the first thing you need is a um, piece of software. And there's a free software called uh, Audacity. And you can get that at audacity.sourceforge.net. I'll make sure to have the link here in the video. When you go to the website, you'll see it says download Audacity, which I've already done. So you're going to make sure you get that program first. Um, so let's go ahead and open up that software. Now, when it first opens up, it's just going to take you to like a blank screen, you know, of the software. And you'll see you have some settings up here to where you can select your inputs, your microphone inputs. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get your backing track. And we'll go to carasongs.com. New band that I've really enjoyed is Mumford & Sons. Do a quick search for them. You'll see it. Uh, my internet's running real slow. apologize. You'll see one of their songs comes up. And we will stop it from playing when it first starts and there's a button that says download mp3 now that's going to open up a new little window and it's going to actually start converting it into an mp3 so we have to kind of wait for that process to finish and once that's finished you can click on the download button the little green download button there and that'll download the mp3 to your downloads folder okay so the next thing you want to do after you've done that is go ahead and go back to your audacity software and you're going to go to file import audio I believe it's the same on the PC as it is on the Mac, so I think it, uh, it'll work. So we're going to find the MP3. It's the MP3 file that we've, we've downloaded from carasongs.com. And it's going to load that MP3 in. It should take but just a few minutes. A few seconds, really. Now, one thing when you're recording, um, the one of the best options is to use headphones so that you can hear the music playback and then just sing into the microphone. Otherwise, if you use your computer speakers, you're going to get that audio of the recording on your microphone recording as well, and it's not going to be as clean. So to have the best clean audio, you just want to sing directly into the microphone without having you know, the uh, audio from the track on it as well. So use some headphones. Um, all right, now that that's finished, so there's our track there. Now, again, you're going to have to configure these settings based on whatever your computer is like. However you have your microphone inputted, it is a USB microphone. All these things should show up in this little bar right here. Okay. So what we're doing is we're using a built-in microphone for the Mac just for testing purposes. The next thing you're going to do is just you can either go ahead and create another track by clicking Tracks, Add New. You want to add a stereo track or an audio track. Um, or you can just click the Record button, and it's going to automatically do it for you. So we click Record see the music's playing. It's actually recording me talking right now. It's also, I'm not using headphones because I'm trying to use this as an example. So you can see that it's recording the track down here. And we'll go ahead and stop it. Stop it from recording. And uh, you can see that it's been recorded down here, this little separate track. So we'll play it back and you'll hear me talking. Turn the gain up there. So what you're going to do is you're going to adjust the gain appropriately. You know, if your if your um, vocals are too hot, then you need to bring them down. If it's too uh, if it's too quiet, you can bring up your your gain and boost the audio levels. Uh, and you can also add certain effects to this, like there may be some um, all kinds of different effects, delay or some uh, reverb that you want to, would like to. Uh, place on there then you go right ahead after you've done recording your audio track the next thing you do is export as an mp3 so you're going to go to file export you should see a little dialog that pops up and the format you want to save this in is mp3 and uh, you can click your options to see what some of your options are I have mine on a quality of 128 which is about normal about standard um, you can go to like 144, 192 if you if you really want. I wouldn't go below 128 just because you're going to lose quality. So we'll stick with 128. Click OK. Click Save. That saves it as an MP3 file on your computer. Remember the folder that you saved it in. Simply upload that to thisiskaraoke.com and you've got yourself a, 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 a new track for everyone to listen to. 
So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions, just uh, you can leave them in the comment section or um, basically anywhere. Just shoot me a, an email. Thanks, guys. Take care.